Here are our scrapbook.com glitter paper pads in a variety of colors and sizes. Let me just show you the different sizes. We have six by eight paper pad size. We have a slimline paper pad size and we have the A2 paper pad size. Three perfect sizes to work on all of your projects. They come in two different color palettes. This is the mixed metals. Look at how gorgeous these beautiful glitter metals are so many different colors you get 40 sheets in one pack five of each color that is plenty of paper to work on with your projects and i'm just going to show you today how easy it is to die cut with these paper pads okay i'm going to demonstrate how to use the glitter paper on this sizzix big shot machine i'm going to take the a2 size rainbow glitter paper and just choose a pretty rainbow color i love this aqua color it's so pretty and I'm going to take the platform for the Sizzix Big Shot. This is just the platform that comes with the machine. I'm gonna take one hard plate. This is a scrapbook.com exclusive pink glitter plate. It's so pretty. I'm gonna put down my paper. Now, the glitter paper has a film on the back, so it's gonna take two hard plates to cut through this film. It's a little bit tricky because it does have the film, that your glitter is embedded in the paper and doesn't fall off. You can see there's no shedding of glitter, which I love about this paper. All right, so we're gonna put that film side down onto the hard cutting plate with the glitter side up. And I'm going to take my star and align him here on my paper. And take a little bit of mint tape just to hold him down in place where I want him to cut. And then I just simply take my other hard cutting plate, put him right on top, and run him through the Sizzix Big Shot. And comes right out the other side quickly. And then you can see it is perforated because of that film. And I just pull gently and pull off that die cut. Look at how pretty that is. All right, let's try the glitter paper pad with our Gemini Pro machine now. This is the big one that has 12 by 12 inch cutting plates. We're gonna take our two clear cutting plates Plus, we are going to take our metal cutting plate and our frosted color cutting plate. And we're going to put them all together to sandwich. First, I'm going to take the three and put them over here. And let's use our six by eight paper pad. These are gorgeous. Let's actually do a metal. Look at these gorgeous colors. Let's take this beautiful champagne color. Let's put it down onto our cutting plate with the film side down. And then I'm going to take this banner triangle and add it to my paper pad. Take a little bit of mint tape just to adhere it down so it'll stay where I want it. I'm just going to add him to the corner of my six by eight glitter paper, glitter side up. Then I'm going to sandwich it with my plastic clear cutting plate, then the metal and then the frosted 12 by 12 cutting plate as well. And sometimes you may have to experiment with your sandwiches, depending on your machine and your wear and tear on your machine. Every machine is different and cuts differently. So you'll just have to experiment, but this is what's gonna work for me. It's gonna be the two cutting plates with the paper inside, the metal, and then the frosted plastic on top. And I'm just gonna feed it right through my Gemini Pro machine. You can hear it going through and cutting. Sounds beautiful. And here we go. All right. So we're going to take off our sandwich here. Take off that. And then here is our last but not least, our cut banner. Look at how cute that is. Perfectly cut with the Gemini Pro. Again, the paper pads have a film on the back because of the glitter so that the glitter doesn't shed or come out. So it has a little bit of a film on the back. So sometimes it's a little uh, tricky to cut. So just make sure you're using two hard plates to cut through this glitter paper. But once you get it cut and you figure out the sandwich that works for you, this is so much fun to layer and die cut with. Okay, now let's try it on the Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. I'm going to use my same mint tape. It's reusable. And I will instead grab this two by two square. I love these dies for pocket pages. This is a two by two square. And I am just going to take my platform for the Spellbinders Platinum 6 that goes on the bottom. Then I'm going to take one of my hard plates, put that down. And again, put the film side and the glitter side up onto my hard plate. Use my mint tape to adhere that in place. 
And then I'm just going to take another plate to put on top of that and run it right through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. Give a little muscle for that. There you go. Once he's on the other side, I pull it off and you can see it cut my square perfectly. These glitter paper pads are perfect for all of your die cutting and layering. They are gorgeous. They come in three different sizes. We have the A2, we have the slimline size, and the 6x8. Be sure to check out each of these new glitter paper pads. <laughs>